Hi, today I'm going to talk about Blues and F. The tune is called Billy's Bounce. It's one of the most famous tunes that you can ever hear uh, jazz cats playing over because uh, Charlie Parker, famous tune, and uh, you hear a lot of cats play it. Uh, George, there's George Benson version, there's Jim Hall. If you want to name some of the guitar players who played it and recorded it, uh, but you can find a host of singers, jazz singers, and and instrumentalists playing the tune. Anyway, uh, this tune starts with F7, and then B7, and then it goes back to F7. So every chord is one measure each until you get to C, C minor and then F7, which is half measures each. So in fourth measure you have right and then four measures and then B diminished seventh scale uh, diminished seven and then that's for whole measure and then you go to F7 again two three four and then one two D7 so a minor 7 to D7, and then G7 for the whole measure, and then C7 for the whole measure, and then the turnaround, the last two bars of the section is F. So F7. That's the whole chord structure. And let's go over the uh, soloing possibilities. So F7 dominant scale, and then you go to an arpeggio. You can do, uh, F7 arpeggio and F7 dominant scale. So try to use those and make sure you're hitting the third and the seventh chord tones and then. Seven 
arpeggio. Make sure you, you know. You can, you can play the shapes throughout the neck. Okay, that would be one of the exercises I recommend so that you know where the. You know where all the B flats are, right? Anyway. And then F7, and then when it gets to the fourth measure, it's C minor 7, F7. So you can stick with what you know, which is C minor pentatonic or blues scale. So you can use a blues scale or the C minor pentatonic, or you can use a... F7 dominant scale or F7 bebop scale. So bebop scale starting with F. That's dominant scale. Bebop scale goes. So you can try to uh, figure out many different combinations of that. Uh, and then we go to B7 again, uh, B flat 7, and then B diminish. So as you notice, it's symmetrical, so you can move up and down, it's the same shape. So... Jackson Jr. used that in his chord, chord melodies. You hear it, you know that's the diminished chord. He's moving up and down, right? And uh, so the soloing idea over there is the symmetrical shape, which I showed you. But you can also use whole tone, half tone. So, so imagine that's B flat. So half. confusing myself. But anyway, you can work that out. So the simplest way is to the video, right? Anyway, and then it goes to F7, and then A minor, same thing. Two measure, uh, two beats. You can work that out, right? A minor, D7, and then G minor 7, or G, G minor 7, and then A7. I mean, uh, C7, and then the turnaround. But work out the arpeggios and then connect them together in the neighboring tones, right? You can do that, right? So work it out all over the neck. Uh, that would be a great practice for you. Anyway, that's the lesson. I hope that helped you. Uh, thank you. Please subscribe, thumbs up, you know, you know the drill. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.